Hey, <laughs> long time no see. Yeah, it's been a long while since I last um, had any progress on this on my clunker frame build, and um, you know I've been working on it off and on, but yeah, mostly you know it's been cold here, and uh, the you know it gets really cold here in the garage. Um, it's probably maybe 40 degrees in here right now. I don't know. Got a little heat lamp thing going here, but helps some, but. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, if you've been trying to keep up with the, uh, um, the frame build series, my second one here, then, you know, sorry for the long delay. Um, I've been doing some things, not really video footage worthy, mainly collecting little parts and sold quite a few of the parts that were, uh, on the old bike that I had, so, um, anyway, uh, as you can see, we've kind of got a little different configuration here. So, um, basically did get the, you know, obviously the main triangle welded up there. So, um, I didn't really, pretty much was the same thing as the, uh, the other one. You know, I just, you know, put it on the table and tacked it up and then welded it up. Um, I think in general, the welds, I don't know, I think they look better, you know, than they did on the other one. I think... Some of that is due to the fact that my uh, that little my little TIG torch is uh, works a little better, and I've been doing quite a bit of just random welding. You know, before Christmas, I had a couple Christmas present projects that probably took the majority of the month of December up. Um, but anyway, so got the main triangle, and then from there, my old uh, kind of chain stay jig. This was the one I used before I would basically clamp the uh, bottom bracket in here and then uh, this little piece here is you know I would clamp that to, to there it's basically you know just a dummy axle with uh, or it's actually just a regular bike axle with uh, kind of a cobbled up selection of spacers and cones and lock nuts and such to, hold it in place there and um you know as I, I uh was you know was preparing to do that when I was kind of just checking the straightness and uh you know just thinking about how much of a struggle it was time wise to get it set up and you know I checked the straightness it's all crooked so I kind of just you know I've got enough stuff laying around so um basically just decided to scrap that whole system and go to a new system here so um, this is going to be the main thing with this video is um, kind of my new little is another L it's a maybe a step above that El Cheapo but it's another El Cheapo jig that I had just basically I think I built pretty much everything of this jig with just random stuff I've got laying around in my garage um, so this jig is and it's just basically a, it's a kind of a three-piece beam style and so uh, the features are you know essentially you know I've got you know with this fixed in place this is just kind of going off of a uh, a plane of you know once the the main triangle is finished just you know going off of a straight plane here was essentially what I did there you know it's basically if you go to the center here you got 30 millimeters up well, I've, Put the center of the dropouts that same 30 millimeters up there so you just kind of got to compensate you know with the angle of the kind of your axle line you know in, in relation to what the seat tube was so you know obviously that's set back just a little bit you know once it's all finished up it's going to set just just right on the on the the drawing and such there so um anyway it's kind of a three-piece uh jig fixture so kind of the, 
the some of the things I wanted to overcome on the you know on my last frame build was I always I wanted to try to incorporate something that would allow me to you know cut cut the chain stay so I can notch them from my bottom bracket and then um, but you know first and foremost before that is you know get the chain stays notched and welded up to the dropouts and then from there I can have a fixture that I can just take over to my you know to my to my drill press and then notch the uh, the back of the chain stays and then basically from there transfer it back to the jig slip it back in and you know we're uh, we're good to go from there so you know essentially what it is we've got the you know this would be piece one um, piece two is this you know the bottom uh, bottom legs here got it kind of all clamped together that's basically how it will secure so, you know, essentially that slides out you know it's fixed here and then we've got this is the main chain stay section and on the back here I've got an actual drop you know my dropouts are in there and then I've got kind of a dummy axle it's kind of a similar thing just two pieces of angle on a piece of flat and you know I just did basically just tack welded it all together I didn't want to get it you know well put some it doesn't really need to be structurally super strong just hold held you know enough to hold it in place there so um, you know just to keep it from warping and getting all cattywampus and everything I've got one chain stay mitered so far for the dropout so next step is going to be to miter this other one and then uh, from there I'm just going to I'll weld this up get it welded up to the, uh, the dropouts and then from there I'm going to take and you know have that all you know basically transfer it all over and to the uh, drill press and then we'll cut that so this is where we're at right now let's move on to the next stage and uh, we'll go ahead and so this time I basically rather than uh, marking the tube and then just kind of guesstimating going back and forth and filing and fitting it up to the dropout until it was the right angle I just measured the angle from the chain stay to the axle and then transferred that measurement over to my uh, tube notcher there so that that see this method here worked really well um, you know and since the tube notcher centered I just basically stuck each chain stay in and just you know kind of measured them up once I'd cut one to get them the same uh, basically the same length and then um, I don't know basically it worked really quick probably took me after doing this maybe about 10 minutes of cleanup deburring a little bit of mild filing and then hit you know clean everything up with acetone to get it uh, cleaned and ready to weld so this is definitely the way I'm gonna do it in the future from here on out because it's definitely a lot quicker and easier All right, so I got both tubes mitered up there and position locked in all my metals cleaned up and um, yeah, we're just about ready to I'm gonna tack these and then basically I'll pull it out finish welding them up stick everything back in and So I got this, uh, got it tacked here on four different sides. And so I, I'm just going to weld it up right here in my little, in my little mini vise. That should be ten times easier, you know, to weld this up than um, how it was on my, you know, old one with the, with the chain stays attached and all that. So, you know, kind of awkward to get around with this. You know, I got a nice little prop, you know, on the edge there to get to everything. So, yeah, weld this up and then we'll put it back in the fixture there. All right, so I got it all welded up, both of them, and 
found this little just a little round piece there works pretty nice for uh, you know holding this it's kind of an oblong shape here so you know it always wants to center like that so with you know this little aluminum piece there I found it was nice to be able to clamp it down in place there All right, so my piece here ready to position, so it's all welded up, and then that's my uh, top piece there. It's basically just, you know, drilled out, and then I've got these brake boss or brake, uh, brake bolts and then you know. so we'll get this all cinched down and then transfer it over to the drill press see how it goes all right so <clears throat> got this thing fixtured up in here um, I've got, there's a little extension down here that I welded on to, uh, so I could, you know, clamp it. And then there's a kind of a dummy piece back here that the, the hole saw bit just kind of just rests almost as contacts. And that's going to kind of simulate, you know, the bottom bracket shell there that's just resting on the other, the first portion of the beam jig there. So got everything clamped in, set. Uh, hopefully I've got enough travel here I believe I do so um, yeah I guess we're gonna try to do this and hopefully this works out see what happens here wish me luck Knocked her out of whack just slightly. Alright, a little lube on it this time. It's super gentle, but kind of wants to grab just a little. Alright, try it again. So this whole thing here, it, it worked out pretty well. Got it sped up here in the main cutting portion, um, but is definitely a little bit, a little loose. Um, you know, just as far as the a lot of a lot of flex. You know, it's just clamped from that one bottom clamping point there. So I think I'll try to, you know, when I do this, if I do this the next time, which I'm sure I will, but. Um, you know, eventually I'll have a, you know, if I get a mill or something, I'll device something a little more, a little more robust, but, you know, it kind of had to hold the back end of it there, and it, uh, I don't know, just, it felt a little kind of chintzy, but it, you know, it got the job done, and, um, you know, just had to apply very, very light pressure, and there was a, you know, keep lubricating it, and, and uh, there was a couple times where it kind of, you know, stop just for momentarily but you know the the good thing that is that the the piece never moved in the little fixture so 
um, you know, all in all, it worked as intended. So, um, you know, can't really, can't really complain about it too much. But, uh, um, so yeah, it's, you know, it's, uh, basically I took quite a bit of time once I put the fixture in to get everything super level. And then the little, the base plate there were my, the little blue uh, drill press vise. That was, that was actually or it's, I don't think I've ever adjusted it that I can ever remember. So I actually adjusted that and got it basically square to the, uh, um, you know, to the, I guess the, the drill chuck or the, the, the shaft that, the you know, that the whole saw and drills and whatnot attaches to. So it was, it was, it had been off, you know, probably about one degree. So I don't know, got that all squared away and, um, yeah, so it uh just had to take my time and work through it. Um and but you know basically got through, got the job done. Give her a give her a test fit. <clears throat> no, I don't think anything uh, it looks like it's in the same plane that it was, so I think we're good there. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> yeah, that worked out really well. Um, you know, if you look on the very top part, there's a little little bit of a gap, but um, you know, it's mainly just because I couldn't have the hole saw all the way touching the, I guess, the dummy, the gauge there on the little, on the jig that was clamped in there. So I think what I'll do next time um, is just set the, the bit right up against it and then move the, once I get it fixed in, and then I can move the, this piece out of the way, something like that. But I think in the meantime, when I, to uh, get that all finished up what I'll do is basically uh, I'll clamp a small shim underneath this you know the main the main beam here and that'll raise it up just slightly but um, yeah that I, that worked out really well it's kind of uh, I think I'll figure out a different way to clamp it next time in the little fixture there because it was it was a little wobbly felt like it was moving around but it was basically just the whole drill press assembly was just pivoted probably about 10 degrees on the little platform that I have it sitting on but everything stayed straight so um, that's good I guess the teeth teeth pattern on that hole saw is a little aggressive but um, that machine doesn't have much torque so you know kinda that the speed kinda helped run it through but yeah it was a little choppy for sure but I don't know it worked the system did work so happy about that um, but anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for this, uh, I guess this is part nine. Um, should have plenty of time next week to work on this thing then. So I'll probably get this thing welded up and try to get the uh, seat stays going there as well. So, um, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you might want to consider subscribing. That way you'll... Uh, Get to catch all the future videos on this project here um may do another little video here pretty soon show all the little parts and pieces i've got but anyway this is gonna do it for this one so yeah thanks thanks for watching